there. I just made these earrings and I'm going to show you how. All I used with this really cool ribbon trim from Paper Mart, our sponsor today. You can check them out online at www.papermart.com. They have such cool stuff. I even made these cool long ones. I made some USA ones. It was just really fun and addicting once you get going on this project. You're going to need markers, pliers, ear wires, and ribbon crimps, and you are going to be good to go. So let's go to the table and I'm going to show you exactly how to make these. What you're going to need for this project is some of the faux jewel ribbon available at Paper Mart. It's $8 a roll and you get 10 yards. They also have a glass jewel ribbon, but it's about four times more expensive. This can be customized, but it does come in, in other colors as well. So um, instead of there being actual jewels on there, there's actually little like kind of indented facets that you can color with markers. So you'll need a couple markers that are alcohol based, like these Copics. You will need a um, pair of nylon jaw pliers and a pair of regular plier pliers for your earrings and also you're going to need a ribbon crimp and an ear wire. Well you'll need one for each earring you want to make. So here are some of the examples I showed you. I've got these long dangly ones. These are very fancy. And I have these that are I wore at the beginning and um, also these kind of patriotic USA ones which were really really fun to make. Alright, so here's the one we're going to make right now though. Um, so what you want to do is cut off the amount of ribbon that you want. I'm using an 8x7 grid because that makes a nice square. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, because of the way the mesh is made, it is a little bit wider than it is long as far as the rows go. So now you just want to color it. And I'm going to hold it up so you can see it pretty closely. And I'm just going to use my marker to just go in there and color in the divots. It's kind of hard to focus in on this sparkle sparkle unless I bring it right up to the camera. All right, see that? Ah, can't get that little piece in there. And then I would just go ahead and color them all the colors that I wanted. Very, very easy to do. And then what you want to do is use your pliers to get a hold of your ribbon crimp. And what I like to do is just kind of hold it in there. All right, just like that. And you won't need to use glue on this like you would if you were using regular ribbon because it's just going to kind of grab around that, um, that gem in there. And I'm just giving it a nice firm squeeze and I'm going to turn it and give it a squeeze from the other angle. Now just keep in mind that this would all be colored. I just didn't want to make you sit through that. Alright, so then to open up your ear wire, you want to take your pliers and just give it a little twist. You don't want to open it up like a U, you just want to give it a little twist. And then you simply slide on the piece that we just prepared. And that's all there is to it. I'm holding this away from my face so I can show you on the camera, but I always end up grabbing the wrong part of the metal when I do that. So there you go. So now that's hooked onto the ear wire. Of course, of course it isn't hooked on the, onto the ear wire well because I didn't, I can't close it unless it's right in front of my face. I don't have my glasses on right now. I really should have put those on. Ah, here we go. Oh, you know, one of my typical live videos. <laughs> All right, so there you go. And let's show you the finished pair right here. Actually, this is the finished one with the stripe, and this is how I did the same color with the diamonds. But um, experiment. You have a certainly enough ribbon on this roll to make hundreds of different pairs of earrings. I want to thank Paper Mart for sponsoring this video today. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.